Hey everybody, it's Mark Cabana here, and welcome to the Citation Finder overview video for Places Scout. The Citation Finder feature of Places Scout helps you dig up tons of potential citation sources that you can leave reviews on for your clients. And uh, the algorithm behind Places Scout Citation Finder is based on a similar one to that of the uh, popular WhiteSpark Citation Finder tool. So um, the citation data you will see in Places Scout is uh, similar and comparable to what you would see in WhiteSparks. So the Citation Finder analyzes both your client citations as well as your client's competitor citations. So this allows you to compare your client citations in relation to their competitors and uh, see where the competition has all the citations so you can uh, you know view that data and see where you need to uh, leave citations to uh, get ahead of your competitors um, next uh, the citation finder provides SEO metrics for each of the citation sources found and these will help you gauge the strength of each citation source uh, so you know what sources to focus on first and uh, this uh, provides the Google page rank in the SEO Moz uh, competition data for each citation source so um, you can have a look at that data in uh, gauging the strength of each citation source next and probably one of the most powerful features of Places Scout Citation Finder is the new citation metrics data that is provided in the individual view um, this data is going to allow you to easily offer online business reputation management services. Um, basically what it does is it provides average citation ratings across all the citation sources found for the business and it also gives you the individual rating of each citation source. Uh, these sources are hyperlinked so you can easily read all the reviews and uh, leave reviews uh, for your business as well. Um, so all this was designed to save you a ton of time in analyzing your clients and your clients uh, competitor citation sources and get a good uh, top level overview of each business uh, citations and their average ratings across all the sources. So let's get started so I can show you all these great features that Places Scout Citation Finder has to offer. Okay. So the Citation Finder section of Places Scout has a similar layout to other sections of Places Scout uh, where you enter in the keywords and the locations that you would like to uh, perform a search query with in Google Places. Um, so basically what the software is going to do is it's going to perform this keyword location query uh, in Google Places and it's going to pull back the top 10 results or top 10 to 100 if you specify that setting to gather more Places results and it's going to take every result and analyze all the citations for that given result. So what you get is in-depth citation analysis for every business that ranks for the given keyword and location query that you specify. Um, so if you want to find the citations for your client, you want to enter in keywords and locations that they're going to rank for. Um, now if they don't rank very well, uh, you can choose to get up to the top 100 results. And the way you do that is you go to the settings tab and under the citation finder settings you'll see a number of places results together so you would change this to 10 20 30 50 or 100 uh, depending on how far down your client currently ranks so I'll go back to the citation finder here and enter in some uh, sample keywords we'll do the restaurants Pittsburgh um, and it's gonna find all the citations for all the businesses that rank for this uh, given restaurants Pittsburgh search query in Google places um, now there's one more important setting that you're going to want to specify and that's the select additional data to gather. Uh, this will allow you to gather Google page rank in SEO Moz competition data for each business that comes back. So I'm going to choose both of these and I'm going to go ahead and click find local citations to uh, run the citation finder algorithm. And I'll be back when it's done. Okay, we're all done. That took about a minute and a half to complete. And the first thing you're going to see after running the Citation Finder is a Combined Unique Results View tab. And basically what this is is a list of unique citations found uh, across all the results that came back. So if you just want a list of citation sources, uh, this is what this provides, uh, just unique results. So uh, you're going to get the citation source name. Uh, you get the number of occurrences, which is the number of times we found this citation source uh, across all the results that ranked. And uh, you get the popularity, which is the total number of reviews across all sources found uh, for this given uh, citation source. So Yelp.com, we found a total of 1,274 uh, uh, reviews left on that site. So that's you know probably the most popular citation source uh, there is. 
Um, next, and what uh, is really neat about this is you get all the SEO competition data now. So for uh, Yelp.com, you're going to get the page rank, you're going to get the SEO Moz rank, uh, the number of backlinks, the page authority, and the domain authority. So this data here allows you to basically gauge the strength of each one of these citation sources. So uh, you can sort this by uh, page rank and uh, you know any one of these factors and you can focus on the strongest sites first to leave your citations on uh, because those are going to pass the most uh, link juice to your uh, client's uh, website. Okay, so next, uh, where this uh, citation finder gets really, really interesting is under the Individual Citation Details tab. Um, so if I go ahead and click this tab, basically what I'm going to get is a list of all the businesses that rank for our uh, keyword location query here, and I'm going to get their total number of citations, uh, the total number of reviews for that business uh, found from all citation sources, and then I get the average rating of this business across all their citation sources. So uh, this here saves a lot of the legwork of going out and finding all these citations for a given business and then trying to figure out how well they, uh, their rating is across all the sources. Um, so that's top level data for each of these results. Now as we scroll to the right here we're going to continue to get more data. So uh, we get the number of Google reviews uh, on their Google Places page for this business. Uh, we get the Google rating and uh, next, we also get all the SEO uh, competition data for each one of these uh, businesses. So you're going to see their average citation page rank. And a lot of this will make more sense when I show you each of the individual citations. Um, but this is the average page rank of all their citations that they have. Uh, so you can see how much page rank is being passed to this site from their citation sources uh, on average. Uh, and then you get the average uh, page rank for the domain of the citation source. Uh, then you get all the averages for uh, the SEO Moz data. So the Moz rank, uh, backlinks, uh, domain authority, and uh, uh, domain page authority. So um, that's what the top level gets. Now each one of these results is expandable. So if I click on the plus sign next to each result, I'm going to actually see each of the citations that were found for this business, the number of reviews for that citation source, and the rating of the reviews. Um, next, I'm going to get the citation page rank. So that would be the actual uh, page rank for this citation source. So um, you can click on these and it'll take you to that uh, citation source. So this uh, page rank value would be the uh, page rank of this actual URL here. So that uh, tells you kind of how strong of a source this is. Um, and then you get the uh, page rank for the domain. So that would just be uh, for Yelp.com. And you get all the um, domain metrics for the SEO uh, competition data. So all the SEO Moz data for the actual domain. Um, so these uh, factors here really allow you to gauge how strong of uh, citations uh, each of these businesses have. Um, and uh, kind of get a sense of how many citations you're going to need to get and uh, how strong they need to be to outrank this uh, competitor. Um, so uh, one of the things I want to explain next here is exactly where each of these citation sources are coming from. So the citation sources found for each business are what I like to call Google indexed verified citation sources. And basically these are the ones that are found in the search results page that have uh, star ratings and review counts next to them. And uh, let me show you an example here. So I'm going to copy this uh, business name to the clipboard. Then we'll go to the browser and I'm going to search this in Google. And what you'll see in the search results page here is some of these sources here actually have uh, ratings in a number of reviews here uh, in the search engine result page. So uh, what this tells me is that Google is actually indexing these citation sources because they know the number of reviews that each source has. Uh, as well as the rating with the stars. So um, these are the sources that the software provides. Are these ones in the ratings that actually have um, basically stars in a uh, review count next to them? Because this uh, tells me that Google knows about this site. It is counting the number of reviews. So uh, these are the ones that the software is going to pick up and display here for each business. So if you run the citation finder algorithm for some keywords and locations and you don't get that many results back, uh, that basically means that there aren't really many citations that we can uh, verify that Google is indexing for each of these businesses. 
Um, so you might want to try some different keywords and uh, see if anything comes back for those. Now, obviously, restaurants, there's going to be a lot of sources because a lot of people will leave reviews for restaurants. But uh, for some more obscure keywords, you know, you might not actually see any uh, many citation sources. And it's just because we can't verify that Google is actually indexing any citations for that uh, given business. Now there is one more area that the citation finder algorithm looks for uh, citations for each one of these uh, businesses and that is on the uh, Google Places uh, results page. So if I click on this uh, keyword location query here it's going to perform that search in uh, Google Places. So um, in the results here you're going to see it uh, for some of them you're going to see uh, citation sources listed here under each result. Uh, so the software is going to pull these as well for uh, citation sources and uh, analyze those and um, add them into uh, the total combined list here for each uh, business of citations. So that's kind of both the areas that the software is going to look for uh, citation sources for each one of these results. Uh, so next, um, so I've only shown you uh, citation sources for one of these businesses here. Um, so if I uh, collapse this one, I can actually look at each individual business's citation sources. And uh, this is how I would do it if I wanted to compare, you know, uh, competitor citations. So I can, um, you know, open up each one of these uh, businesses' citation sources here and see where all their sources are and what their uh, ratings are. So um, if you wanted to, say, offer uh, online business reputation management services, uh, you can easily find sources where uh, a given business has bad reviews. And here's an example here. So um, on Urban Spoon for uh, Bigelow Grill here, um, their rating is only 56%. So they have some probably bad reviews here. And if, if you were to click on this and uh, go to that source, you can probably you know go down and read all the the bad reviews. So um, that's kind of how you can see where, where the bad reviews are and you can sort any of these columns to see you know a uh, 60%. That's still not even uh, that good uh, for a business. Um, you can also do this top level so you can sort by the average ratings. So if you wanted to offer uh, online business reputation management services, I would focus on these businesses here that don't have the best ratings. Um, and then you can expand them and see where exactly their bad ratings are. So uh, each one of these results here that has, you know, like a 40, uh, that has some bad reviews on it most likely. Um, so, and everything here is color coded so you can easily pick out all this data. Um, so that's just uh, kind of how this uh, citation finder works and it really digs up a lot of uh, citation sources and allows you to analyze uh, competitor citations with uh, these uh, built-in uh, functionality here. So. Um, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. Um, you can also export this data. So um, if you click the Actions button, you can do an export to. Uh, you got CSV, Excel, or HTML files. Um, and you can do that with the uh, combined unique results view as well. So there's also export uh, functionality there too. Um, another thing you can do is uh, save this data for uh, future uh, use in place of scouts so that you don't have to keep gathering it over and over again. So um, under here there's a save grid data option. So if you were to choose that it's going to ask you where you want to uh, save your uh, grid data to as an XML file. And uh, you can basically save that and then in the future you can load that XML file back into places scouts so you don't have to continuously uh, gather the same data o over and over again if you are uh, performing the same uh, keyword and location uh, search queries. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for Places Scout's uh, Citation Finder. Um, you can see how it digs up a lot of uh, potential citation sources. Um, it provides you with the uh, SEO competition metrics so you can uh, gauge uh, the strength of citations. Um, the individual view gives you overall top level metrics for all the uh, citations that each business has. Um, you can compare uh, competitor citation sources you know, with this software. Um, you can do the uh, online business reputation management uh, analysis, you know, by viewing uh, uh, businesses that have uh, bad reviews and uh, bad ratings across their citation sources. And it just kind of gives you an uh, in-depth view of all the uh, citations each business has and what the ratings are. And, you know, with this data, you can really put that to good use in uh, not only improving your uh, client's citation sources and uh, rankings, but uh, also figuring out what exactly needs to be done. Uh, in order to outrank other uh, um, businesses that uh, have citations. So uh, thank you for watching this video, and I hope you uh, find this feature of Places Scout useful in your uh, citation finder endeavors.